Hi everyone, it's Phil and Matt. We're here for Match and Leather. We're going to be doing a live Q and A on August thirty first. Feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comments. Questions about you know custom made to order processes that we have, maybe different leather type, or even how to polish your Shell Cordovan wallet or Chrome Excel wallet or any Ashland leather product you may have. Yeah. So everybody that leaves a question, we're going to take whoever gets the most thumbs up for their question. They're gonna get a special gift, probably a private stock wallet. And everybody else that leaves a question, you're also gonna be entered to win. Looking forward to seeing you guys on August 31st at 7 p.m. Central Time. All right, and we're also gonna look at some stuff that we're shipping out today. I'm actually gonna rope you in to have a look at it with me. All right, I'm here with uh, brother Matt. He just got married, by the way. Huh? Congrats again, Matt. Married Matt. So we're gonna look at some private stock wallets as well as some made to order custom wallets. Let's start off first year. The wallet for my buddy uh, this is actually for my bandmate and he put the band logo on the front. This is reverse black shell cordovan. It's a little bit more of this greenish color and he came by and hand selected all these colors because he really liked this idea. The contrast with the tan on this piece of reverse black all the way down to the little bit more of a forest green for the bottom. And we decided to put a little bit of a cream color contrasting stitch that looks really great, as well as this little bit of die mark here that kind of looks like a bird picking up out of the card slot. So up next here, I have another wallet to show you. And this one is a one-shot card case. It's a private stock one-shot in what I believe is tumbled cigar shell cordovan. It's got a really great depth of color and also a very nice texture in addition to that bright, shiny luster. Up next, we have a beautiful tumbled ho horse butt strip in tumbled color eight. The interior has a flush interior, so there's no flesh showing. The flesh is on the inside of the wallet, which gives it a nice clean look. And also we have a couple other brother wallets, sister wallets. Here is a gator horse butt strip. And I believe this is just natural with no color on it. That's right, yeah. Which nice and clean. No flesh showing again. And the tall Herbie has a very tall pocket here so you can fit taller bills and you know, your Vax card, maybe even a passport in there if you wanted. And lastly, we have a horse butt strip in amaretto color. Again, with a flesh interior with no flesh showing. This is just super nice. Look at all that grain character this from the, the horse. This is the same dye mix that Horween uses on the Amaretto Show Cordovan, and it translates a little bit different on the horse butt strip. It's a little bit deeper of uh, color. And our last Herbie is a private stock cigar shell Cordovan Herbie. Just super glossy, super nice shell in this one. It feels nice and thin. It's not overly thick. Has a nice matching dyed edge. Super shiny, super smooth. It's a nice piece of shell. Just a great, great piece of shell. And here's another wallet. It's a vertical card slot Bugs Moran, also in the cigar shell Cordovan. What do you think about this one, Matt? I think the cigar shells that we cut from, from some of the cigar shell they're Cordovan just, pieces, it's some of the nicest shells. They're just super smooth, super, super nice. Really bright and super shiny. Super glossy, yep. I'm actually tracking a little bit of my uh, fingerprints on the outside of this. There's just so, so much wax and oil on it. On the inside, those vertical card slots, this is something we've been seeing people have been really enjoying. Uh, is the orientation of these card slots. You can see it comes in through the top of the wallet as well as a hidden card slot underneath. It seems like people are starting to prefer this over our traditional Bugs brand. Is that something you've been seeing, Matt? Yeah, definitely. I think it's just that extra card slot and uh, the fact that it has a different orientation than what we have. So speaking of that, this is the traditional orientation of our card slots for the Bugs brand. I find this just to be a little bit easier to use. However, there are two less compartments. There's four on this one. The vertical bugs has six in total. The leather here is uh, noteworthy. A couple weeks ago, we did a special offer of some baseball glove leather on some of our wallets. And this is that same baseball glove leather. So a really nice caramel shade. And I believe Rawlings uses this in a product they make, uh, I forget what they call Heart of the Hide. Uh, but on this one, we decided to start experimenting with some gold foil. So we've got that gold foil stamp on top of the caramel baseball. Another Bugs Moran to show you. This is a raw natural shell cord of it. And we were talking about those striations, or Matt was talking about the striations on some of the horse butt stuff earlier. This piece of raw natural also has a little bit of that interesting sort of visual texture that you might be able to see right here. 
The Raw Natural, for me, this is the best leather for patina because it starts off such a light color and a matte luster. It will really, really develop over time. So you'll get a little bit more of a golden brown color as well as a shinier luster just with normal use. And on the inside of this one, I also have a reverse natural interior, but we only have one card slot on each side. Couple more wallets to look at. We have a Vic Snap Wallet and a really interesting piece of color eight shell cordovan, very bright, shiny luster and a rich feel in this one. It's very round for this particular piece of shell. But also what I'm noticing is the reverse side here, the really deep color. We don't normally see such a, a dark color on almost, the reverse side of the shell. Almost as if it was dip dyed. Is it dip dyed? It I don't looks, think, it does look kind of dip dyed. I don't think dyed. it is. It wasn't intended to be, but it, it looks like it. All right, and speaking of reverse, I have a couple Gus card cases here. The first one we'll look at is reverse black shell cordovan, that same really interesting green shade with all those random drip marks that I think are really great. We like reversing the leather to show off the random variation of color, as well as the Horween shell cordovan ink stamp. On the inside of this Gus, we also have reverse black shell cordovan, and you can see why we call it the Gus. It's sort of like a gusseted card case, so this does expand on the inside. I have a couple more colors of reverse shell cordovan to show you for the Gus card case. On my right hand here, this is reverse color eight shell cordovan. You can see the random die marks are a little bit more of those darker burgundy shades. And on the inside, of course, color eight shell cordovan. And here's another one to look at, reverse amaretto. And you can see how much lighter the color is on the reverse amaretto. It's almost like a reverse natural, a little bit cleaner and more consistent. And on the inside, this is my favorite shell color right here, amaretto shell cordovan really nice vibrant orangey tan shade and it has a dramatic color shift so depending on what angle you look at it it might appear a little bit more orange like on this direction or a little bit more red and brown like that direction a couple more items to look at vault key holder here in western black shell cordovan that turned out really great this is my favorite texture on the shell cordovan. And the last piece to look at is also cigar shell cordovan. The cigar shell cordovan Capone money clip turned out great. We were talking about how much I love the cigar shells that we've been cutting from recently. This one is also cut out of that amazing batch. So cigar shell on the inside and outside. We have an antique brass spring bar money clip for this one. And to cap it all off, we also have what we're starting to do more frequently are these hand stained edges. So we have specific dyes that match the colors of the shells perfectly. And we've applied those by hand to the edges of the wallets. We apply a little bit of wax and then burnish it all smooth. So you get sort of a stained wood look for all of the edges of the hand stained wallets. So thanks for checking out all the stuff with uh, my brother, Matt and myself. Really appreciate you guys. And hopefully you can join us on Wednesday, August 31st at 7 p.m. Central time. Anything you want to wrap up with, Matt? Hope to see you there. All right, have a good one.